So we're here at the GigaOM Roadmap. So who are you? My name is Gregory Gallinet. I'm with Excelitas Technologies. I'm the West Coast Sales Manager for the Detection Product Line. So Excelitas, can you explain what Excelitas does? Yes. Excelitas was created three years ago from a divestiture from Perkin Elmer, the Illumination and Detection Division, in a private equity uh, funded by Veritas, who owns us now. Um, at that time, it was a $500 million uh, creation, buyout, and we were doing a little over $300 million a year in revenue. Um, since then, we've just recently acquired a Keoptic, and Keoptic is also doing a little over $300 million a year. So now we're a company of a little over 5,000 employees and over $600 million in revenue. Keoptic, what is that? Uh, Keoptic was a privately held company that we just acquired. What were they doing? Well, that, that I briefly looked at their website, but that is actually being integrated into uh, and combined with Excelitas. So I represent the detection group for Excelitas. And Veritas is, Veritas uh, is all the, about security? And well, is Veritas is the, is the investment company. They're the financial background. So they own Excelitas now. Uh, like uh, banking and... Uh, yes, yes, they're, they're money. a financial company, yes. Yeah. And so what are you showing here? Uh, what I'm demonstrating here is the DigiPile surface yeah. mount device. Um, the device itself is yeah. a 3.8 by 3.8 by 1.8 millimeter uh, temperature detection. Yeah. Um, it operates at 10 microamp. It's used for presence detection. It can also measure temperature, and what we're going to demonstrate here is, is actual, you can detect gesture and motion tracking as well. So, each of these is the sensor you're talking about? Right, each of these little squares is the DigiPile sensor. Nice, just the square? Just the square. And the rest square. is just connectivity? Yes. So, what can you show here? Uh, I can show actually the infrared energy yeah. that's coming off of my hand, and also detects energy from a like, person's face that shows up and is detected into the into the chip itself. So from what we're able to do from a distance is measure that infrared detection yeah. happens and you're able to actually sense a person being in the presence of the chip. So the idea is you don't touch, you just get close. Yes. And then it knows. Yes. Infrared. Infrared. So this is infrared. Detection. Yes. So, so it's, it's a passive infrared system. So that's how it operates at such a low power of 10 microamp. Yeah, so let's try to tilt a little bit. And so can you show a little bit? Uh, how does it work? Right, so what happens is is each of these squares corresponds to each one of the sensors. And when I put my hand over one of the digipiles, it shows up in the screen. Awesome. We've also created this little color, color palette here in the center to show that as I move over the sensors, the colors change according to where my hand is. And so, how far do you need to be for it to detect? Um, without any optics, the DigiPile can detect up to about 10 centimeters. Um, if you put a pinhole lens aperture in front, we're able to detect out to meters. And if you put a Fresnel lens in front of it, you can go further than that. And it again, depends on the application of what you're trying to do. So basically, you make it, it could be a camera, kind of, just for that. Well, a camera means higher resolution. And yeah. these are actually just single chips. So like a single pixel. So it would be kind of like something like a camera, but only for this purpose on the device, for example. When you say a camera, it's actually detecting IR energy, which is light energy in the, in the infrared, yes. Could you be integrated into the camera if it's a phone, for example? Would it be in the camera or would it be a separate part? Well, that, that you'd have to talk to the phone people to see how they would do it. They could do both, maybe. I don't know. OK. But uh, so, so you're showing this here. Uh, so. Is this because in the future we'll have, let's say, a phone where you just, you don't even touch it, you just get close to it and it turns on? Actually, I would say more of a mobile or battery operated device. Um, the, the ability to detect presence to turn the system on uh, is part of what this could be capable of doing. So how much power does it use? 10 microamp, which is extremely low power considering the capability what it offers. 10 microns per detect per sensor? Per sensor, yes. So here you have four, so it would be 40, I guess? Yes, and four it, chips, 40, it, 40 microns. It could last for like 1,000 hours in a battery or something. Well, again, it depends on the size of the battery, yeah. and, but you do the calculation from the current draw and then what the, what the rest of the battery size is. So is this very special? Nobody else does this? or? 
Well, the technology, the technology where these ships are based are, are coming from the ear thermometer market, where we have thermopiles. So we've taken and repackaged these from a, a higher, a larger package size, which is a TO can, into surface mount. So it opens up more opportunity to be able to do mass production in higher volume. So your company does ear thermometer? We supply thermopiles into ear thermometers, yes. Okay. Along with motion sensors for lighting control. So that's also what we do. So we're the, the enabling chip to allow system companies to design their products. Where are you based? Um, the detection division is based in Montreal. Uh, the company is worldwide. We have sites all over the world. Uh, the wafer fab for these particular chips is in Montreal, and then the assembly of the chips are, is done in Asia. All right. So this, you, you hear Gigaum Roadmap to talk with the high-tech companies that are... Well, the innovators and the designers. Yeah. Uh, that was the main reason that, that we came here, is because we see that with this ability, with this new technology, this new package, that people would be interested in seeing uh, and innovating this into their products. And the light detection, what is that? You show this here? They said you had light detector, detection technology? Well, we have, we have other product lines besides this one as well. We have photodiodes that do ambient light detection. Uh, they're used in automobiles to dim head the high beams when cars are coming at you on the highway. They detect the light coming on and would dim the high beams. Uh, they're also used for the interior car lighting. So if it's daylight out, you could tune down the, the dashboard lighting for, for sight, you know, people to be able to see it. Um, we have um, products that are doing uh, uh, avalanche photodiodes usually for laser, laser range finding uh, products. Um, photodiode arrays that are used in x-ray scanning, cargo scanners. We have a new product out called the silicon photomultiplier used in blood flow uh, cytometry for blood analysis. So we have, we have uh, a slew of different detectors. We also have uh, two other divisions. One is the lighting that does uh, LED lighting design along with xenon and flash lamps. And we also have a, a division called AES, which is Advanced Energetic Systems. And they do atomic clocks and power supplies. And all this is part of... Uh, part, of part of Excelitas, yes. All right, that's, uh, that's awesome. The future of sensors. The future of... This is where the future of all these cool devices is going to be. So how you get interesting new sensors. Right, taking, taking technology that has well, been mature and well-established and allowing with new packaging or new, new creativity of interfaces to allow innovators to design them into their products of the future. Google, the next Android, should support this. If you have somebody that I should talk to, then, uh, then please send them my way. Awesome. This is so cool. You gotta edit that. <laughs> yeah. No, sorry, there's no...